Hello Virgo, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Virgo, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Virgo, what do we have for you? What do we have for Virgo at this time? What do we have for Virgo, please? Okay. Let's see. Very similar energy had um, Taurus. You might be dealing with Taurus. Okay. Or you might have heavy placements in your chart. Virgo. So what I am getting here is that we are connecting this reading for you, Virgo, with someone here who is quite insecure, who... Mm, this is someone I feel who um, projected their insecurities on this connection. And this person got very easily distracted. In a sense, I feel that they... We have... Here is the thing. Mutual energy, we have a third party. I feel that we are connecting here in a specific, this is a specific situation. And for some of you, it might be a case that, you know, you might not resonate. For some of you, might not resonate with this reading. That's fine. I do those readings often. So very soon I'll be posting another reading for you. But this collective uh, who resonate with this message, I'm getting very strongly that someone here got in the middle okay we have a third party uh, and i feel this this person uh, got very easily distracted because that third party just gave some sort of kind of i feel that they got so much attention from this person and it's like um they kind of um charmed them telling them how great they are something like this i'm getting very very strongly what well, the thing is here Virgo that this person wants to reach out so it feels like things are not that great as they might appear or you know yeah I don't know why I say that maybe maybe you know you are dealing here with someone who might be posting a lot on social media hmm and it's like um they are posting things on social media with this third party and it's like um, it's a facade and the reality is that things are not that great because you know they want to reach out to you that's the thing here Virgo we on your side we have commitment and letting go I feel that you know you've kind of made a decision or you are in the middle of making decision because that's the that's the overall energy and I feel this is your energy with the judgment I feel that you've kind of uh, making a decision very slowly to detach or to distance yourself from that whole situation it's like you're letting go of that commitment that maybe you know you might be for some of you that commitment my 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 symbolize you being a little bit still attached to this person but i feel that you are letting go of it you know it's like you are making decision or you're considering or it's like because you know it's a it's a it's a process it takes time and sometimes it's very difficult but i feel that um it's like you see certain things for some of you, if you resonate with that social media kind of message and you kind of feel, well, I, I just don't want, I just, you know, that's not for me. Obviously, you might have blocked this person or something of this kind. Mm -hmm. Judgment is also a major energy of the past that wants to resurface itself again. And it feels here that this person who wants to reach out, who puts you in a third party situation, Virgo uh, wants to uh, resurrect something with you. That's why they want to reach out. Hmm. But for some of you, but for this person, and with regards to the situation, it might be a little bit too late because it feels like you are kind of, you know, in the middle of making decision that maybe it's, it's like, you know, it's essentially you're kind of making decision that it's time to let go of it. 
and here the, here is the thing I feel that this is the kind of typical energy when 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 we kind of making decision right let's let's detach I don't want to kind of you know look at this or I don't want to have anything to deal with it uh, I'm letting go of this commitment and suddenly when you feel that this person it's completely kind of detached or they distance themselves or that or you kind of kind of feeling that it's time to move on and leaving this person behind here they go again here they are you know that kind of thing and that's what I am getting that is th that kind of energy is showing up here in this reading for you but let's see let's see Virgo let's see could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Virgo and this connection, please? Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Chariot. So we have Cancerian energy here, Virgo, you might be dealing with uh, Gemini, another Virgo, and we have this Cancerian energy indeed. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. This is someone who's frustrated, Virgo. Yeah, you see, we have a two of pentacles. It's like this person is, at, it's like this person is considering uh, reaching out to you. I feel this person is like juggling a situation here. The thing is that they are coming with this sneaky energy. <sighs> and they're going to chase you. And it's like they will be... Uh, it's like this person doesn't want to give up on the idea of chasing you. But with the Seven of Swords, this is someone who wants to chase you, who wants to be in touch with you. Um, but at the same time, it feels like they are stuck in their current circumstances with the Eight of Swords. And with the Seven of Swords, they are um, not fully transparent. They are sneaky regarding that third party and you at the same time. This is someone who uh, it's like very secretive. Um, they are quite manipulative. They are, you know, they are mm, they are not fully transparent here uh, about about what they truly want. But what I see is someone who wants to chase you, who wants to win you over, who wants your attention. That's the thing. And with the seven of wands, it's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. It, it's metaphorically saying, of course, it's, it, what it means is that this person here really is kind of, um, this is something that they truly want. And it's like, they want to, um, uh, mm, constantly sending you messages you know or it's like they don't want to give up on an, on on the idea of 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 being in touch with you and we have this magician yeah this is someone who's a charmer Virgo magician with the seven of cups this is someone who is very skillful with their words they know all the tricks here and with the seven of cups they they have this tendency to create illusion I feel this person made so many promises here to you, but they didn't deliver. And it feels like they're coming with very similar energy once again, creating distractions, you know. This is someone who really wants you to think about them. They really want, this is someone who really wants your attention. You know, magician is also this card of communication and they are very frustrated. They are frustrated that they are not in touch with you, I feel very strongly. And also things, again, are not perfect here regarding this third party. And I feel this person is, uh, is bored. Things are not going very, very well with regards to that situation that they are in. And it's like... 
what I am getting here Virgo is that this person wants to be in touch with you but it's like they don't want to clarify what they truly want and you might get an impression when they will reach out to you that this is someone here who is just uh, looking for some sort of distraction you know because they are frustrated about the situation that they might found themselves in but with the eight of swords they are doing nothing about it and that's the thing they are to face towards you and that person that might be involved with them Let's see your energy, Virgo. Let's see your energy. We have High Precious. You might be dealing with Pisces. Judgment, judgment. You see, I thought that it's... This, this, I thought that, yes, I thought, to be real, yes. But I also felt that it is your energy. And we have Judgment. Might be dealing with Scorpio. Could you please show me Virgo's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please? We have a king of pentacles we have a seven of war seven of pentacles excuse me show me more please queen of swords and eight of eight of a pentacles ace of cups we have here well i'm getting <laughs> okay here is the thing i feel that you know um there is no contact situation at the moment and it's like with the high precious you you keep you are keeping your cards very close to your chest and it's like you are not chasing this person you are not seeking you know contact with them at the same time you are not a runner you just you know uh you are very intuitive here and I feel that this is a very passive energy, you know. Or well, some of you might be into spirituality. You are very, very, very intuitive, very intuitive. We have judgment. Yeah, this is someone, you see, here's the thing. This person, it's, I feel that you deeply inside know that, 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 that this person is coming and will want to resurrect this connection but what I am seeing here is that uh, it might be indeed too late because I see a different individual for some of you are about to meet someone else because we have this ace of cups and in this context of this reading with the oracle cards I'm getting very strongly that indeed you kind of letting go of this connection in order to enter a new one an Ace of Cups suggests that new opportunity for emotional fulfillment and happiness in love uh, is on the horizon. We have this King of Pentacles. I feel for some of you, if you met someone or if you are in touch with, with a new person or you started dating someone else, uh, Virgo, or um, or this is someone who kind of caught your attention, what I am getting is that this person has a lot to offer with the King of Pentacles. Is someone who is down to earth, who is very practical and who is very reliable. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel that you are in, in no rush. Um, if you met this person and if you, for instance, date or started dating this person, I'm seeing you... I'm seeing both of you taking things slowly, getting to know each other better. And with the Queen of Swords, I feel this is something that you truly, truly want. It might be someone from your workplace as well, Virgo. You know, if you haven't met this person, uh, please be reassured that new love is coming, uh, coming to you especially with this Ace of Cups. Therefore, when they will reach out, I feel that you will... I'm not getting that you will give this person much of an attention. Um, 
I feel that you know you'll be very quiet you'll be listening what they're about to say and you kind of because energetically you are you are very high vibrational it's like you outgrown this situation mm -hmm. and for some of you I'm getting that you might even tell this person listen you know I am here interested in someone else I've kind of moved on you know um, I see future with this person I'm kind of day by day more invested in this in this connection uh, and I feel that when this when when this individual start asking you questions about this new individual I feel that you will be very again very kind of you'll be holding back with this Queen of Souls it's like well you know I don't really want to talk about it and kind of I'm getting that you will be quite you know you will give this person essentially a cold shoulder we have an eight of pentacles I, I'm getting that um, it might be a case that when they will reach out you will rather talk about a work-related situation or some sort of kind of a project or something that it's going on in everyday life you know in your life at the moment rather than focusing or talking about emotions and relationships no it's like well if you want to talk I can tell you you know what's going on it's this this and that you know I hope everything is fine I feel that you will handle this situation with such a dignity and such a such a such a class but again it's like you outgrown this situation you, I feel that you are no longer kind of want to give to this situation to this connection and it's like I'm getting that you made the decision to let go of that of that relationship but let's see the outcome let's see the outcome for you Virgo let's see We have a Hierophant. You might be dealing with Taurus. Show me the outcome for this situation, please. The Fool. Hmm. And a Queen of Wands. That third party. We have a Strength. At the bottom of the deck so you might be dealing indeed with Leo I have Taurus as I mentioned uh, before we have also Aquarius and Aries energy this is someone here who is coming and it's like they will be telling you that I'm getting this person will try to charm you and they will kind of saying oh you know our connection was so special I made a mistake here it's like they will try to kind of figure out if they they have a chance uh, uh, to kind of you know to come back uh, to have this higher level of commitment with you um, with the full and here is the thing as a mutual energy I feel that you are entering a new chapter in your life with a new person and this for when it comes to this individual that we are connecting in this reading for you Virgo I'm getting that they coming here to be given another chance and that's what this full kind of uh, symbolize as a mutual energy that you are in a completely different um, kind of uh, moments in your life you coming with the Queen of Wands energy <laughs> Like, that's the thing you haven't forgotten about it what this person put you through and it's like oh really mm, okay I'm, I feel that you might find it a little bit amusing the whole thing them trying to kind of you know uh, be very charming trying to all the ve all, all tricks that they are you know available for them in order for in order to kind of change your mind but I, I feel that you kind of see through this person you are just not interested and I feel that you have this kind of uh, checkmate <laughs> energy and saying well what about this third party that you put me through maybe we should talk about this situation what do you think hmm? <laughs> excuse me that's what I am getting here actually but overall I'm seeing that you know you don't want to be put in a third party situation you don't want to kind of entertain that sort of energy and another thing is that you haven't forgotten what this person put you through 
strength as an overall energy i'm seeing you again handling all this situ handling this situation with dignity with strength with emotional intelligence and with diplomacy with class you know mm -hmm. you are very strong you are very you are a very strong individual when it comes to emotions and i'm getting in general here virgo it's like i feel you coming from the place um i've been through a far, far more complex situation than that it doesn't mean that it's not that that it's not significant i feel it is because the fact that it's showing up in this reading that particular situation means that for 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 some of you it it really kind of left a mark on your heart but it's like um you know your value you know you 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 i feel that you're putting yourself first and strength is also this kind of beautiful energy of self-love and self-care so well <laughs> i'm getting here that is someone that we're connecting in this reading for you virgo is going wants to reach out they put you in a third party and they will try to you know charm you once again but it's like you are not having it because there is someone else uh this person might have already arrived to your life and you are in touch with them maybe you are even in a relationship or connection or you are dating this person if not they are they, they very very soon they will arrive and they will appear in your life and it feels like you know with this ace of cups this is someone uh, who um it's like this this connection will have a potential for for, for emotional fulfillment it's like you know it will look good <laughs> and feel good as well therefore i feel that indeed you kind of letting go of this person and this connection for some of you you know if you want to reconcile with this person virgo because it might be a case well they're coming here they're going to reach out because things are not ideal uh, at the moment in their connection here with this third party but this is someone who's who is coming with confusion and with promises and beautiful words but there is no action and there is no substance in it so there is something here that i feel uh, needs to be needs to kind of you know be taken into consideration however of course uh, the choice is yours virgo Virgo, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Virgo, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.